Hello. In this um, video tutorial series, we are going to uh, cover the introduction into Rhino. So we are going to explain how to create lines, to manipulate the visibility, to measure uh, length and uh, to do basic things inside Rhino. Um, this is so that anyone that is coming from a different application into Rhino can properly understand the, the differences and the functionality of this software. So we are going to start by tracing a uh, base shell. So I'm going to load the base shell scan. I'm just gonna use it as it is and align it here. So in this case I have the base shell imported here and now I want to start drawing some curves. For drawing a curve with the Jevro plugin on top of Rhino I have two possibilities. Going on top of the pencil icon you will see that a tooltip appears. If I left click on the icon I will create a curve using interpolation points so the curve will go through all the points I specify. Let's create the first curve like this. I click here and I start here from this point. And as you can see, the curve that I am drawing is following and passing through each of the points I clicked. Now I have here my curve and what I can do is I can show the control points of this curve by going here and clicking with the right mouse button and I see that there are all the control points of the curve. In Rhino a curve is defined by its own control points so if I want to precisely manipulate a curve I need to use the control points. If I left click on this um, tool I can modify the edit points of a curve. The edit points are points that are used for user convenience but do not define strictly the curve within Rhino so they have a less precise uh, manipulation of the curve. I can for example move a point and as you can see moving this point affects also the points around the, the one I just move. And this is because Rhino is trying to refit the curve through the points that I see on my screen. So let's go back and let's see again what we have. If we left click here, we added the curve with the edit points or knots point. These points are less precise and are not really suggested uh, for precise manipulation. If you need to do small adjustment, they're fine. You can you can use them. But if you want to be really precise, you want to use the control points with the right mouse click or F10 on your keyboard. The control points uniquely define the curve and they are the thing that should be used if I want to precisely manipulate my curve. With the delete button on my keyboard I can even delete control points and adjust the topology of my curve so that it is really nice and the less control points I use the better it is for the uh, geometry of my curve and when I am done I can press escape on the keyboard. You have to make um, sure that you disable the control points uh, not to manipulate further the curve because in Rhino when I show my control points in this case I pressed F10 on my keyboard and the command points on has been executed. If I don't disable them I can still do things in my 
in my viewport so if for example I select multiple control points I can move them with the usual commands I can rotate them if I want around whatever point I want and this may be useful on one side that I can apply any type of command to my control points but also is something that I need to be uh, to be sure of what I am doing and I need to be aware that the control points will be active and the curve will be modified every time I drag a control point or I apply a transformation to a control point. So now let's see how we can create a curve with directly its control points and I can create it by right clicking on the pencil here and as you can see the points that I am clicking are not the points where the the curve is flowing through but these are the control points so the curve will um, kind of go nearby these points I have defined but it's not going through these points when I accept and then activate my control points I can see that the control points are exactly in the place where I place them and I can easily manipulate the curve so that it fits my preferred geometry so I can move them around and when I have satisfied with what I have done then I can press escape fix a bit here okay and now the curve is flowing nicely and I can press escape on my keyboard and the control points goes away if I bring them back I can see they are still in the same place if I edit this curve with the edit points let's see what happens as you can see the flow of the curve is not preserved and the edit is not that nice and if I delete for example one point then the others are also moving which is non ideal and if I look at my control points they've all been moved around in, in a very weird uh, manner and I want to avoid that so I much recommend to use the uh, control points rather than the edit points or the knots because they are because of how the mm, Rhino math is defined these control points are a much much more powerful tool than the edit points and probably coming from other software you're used to edit points but those are not ideal when dealing with Rhino curves